it is now time to unbox the brand new Algo Laser Alpha with 22 watts of power. So what we have here is the new Alpha 20 watt that comes with the air pump. And we're going to put this thing to, we're going to unbox this and put this together for y'all. Now what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to get this all laid out for you and be right back. Now, as you see, this has quite a few different parts. Now, a lot of this is all wired together right now. Now, before we start putting this together, you do got to be careful and make sure not to damage the front part of this because it's your little motherboard up here. And that can be damaged real easy because it is wide open, especially when you're installing this side leg of it. Now, the very first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the front of our laser and we're going to take this first side rail and it will actually go off in here and we'll attach it with these little Allen keys. So there's a screw right up, or Allen key right up here. And as I come around to the front, we're going to have one here and one up here. Now take your time on setting this up because you don't want to mess up any components. You don't want to cross thread these because it's not fun to re-thread these or to even just find these out anywhere. Now, as you see, there's a two out, two Allen keys right here and one right up here. Now on this next side rail, you do have two little plugs right here, which I do recommend plugging them in right now before you get this all bolted down just to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Because it's not fun trying to maneuver stuff in tight little areas. But it's going to be the same way with the Allen keys. Now this one you got to be real careful like I said earlier. Because you don't want to damage up that motherboard in there. Because then you got paper weight. So just be real careful whenever you're sliding this in and tighten down. And make sure you don't hit your motherboard. These are your two plugs I was telling you about. And of course it's the same thing. We have three more Allen screws. Now last we got on our main frame is the back piece. Same way as others, but luckily you don't have nothing to worry about too bad as far as boards or motors interfering on this one. But it's gonna take the three Allen screws on this side, three Allen screws on this side as well. Now as we continue on, we now have our motor over here to plug in. It's on a wire over there. Snaps right in, making it a breeze. Next we have, we're actually going to screw this to the rail. And like I said, it's going to take two screws on both sides. You do got to be careful because there are some wires over here as well as up here. Make sure not to pinch them. And this will just slide right into place. And you'll take the same Allen screws we've been using and screw them on in. Let me get them in and show you where they're at. As you see, we got an Allen screw there, an Allen screw there. They're the same on both sides. And also while we're at it, we got this one little wire to plug in up here. As we move on, next one we have is our motor shaft rod. And that's gonna connect up here at the front of the machine on both sides up here, using these right here. So we'll slide one of these on each side. Line it up. And once we get it where we like it, we'll tighten it down with some Allen keys. Next thing we gotta do, we gotta take our bolt and there's a little tensioner right through here. And get that in there. And so what this is going to do, this is going to adjust the tension of our x-axis. Now speaking on tension, we also have tension on both here at the back of the unit. So, and there's actually a center dot right here. That's where I'm going to take these two right now. Next, we get to install our laser head. And it's simple. It slides on here. And what I like about it, there's a little lever over here on the side to lock it into place. And it's a lot bigger than most 
and it's like I said, it's it comes out about two inches off the uh, the laser head, so you actually have plenty of room, and it snaps into place. So it makes it real easy, and then the same. We got a little fill over here for when you set our depth. Once that's set, lock it into place. It's got a release gauge for our depth. If I can see it. Pops up. It's ready to go. So that gets you a closer view. So we'll press that down, set our depth. That will fold down. That will hit bottom. Hit that. And there's our release button right there. Pops that back up, it's ready to go. Now on our laser head, we also have this little nozzle right here, just so you know. Actually, with this having the air assist, it just screws in real easy. We got our cover that is held on with magnets. Just to show you how easy this thing goes together. And that with the air source being built in, you don't have a lot of extra stuff to worry about there. Now, the very last thing we have to do is to connect our air to suppress in fitting. Come over here, connect it to this other press in fitting, and take this to our air pump. Now, as far as hooking everything up to get it ready to run off the computer, we do have this for our air pump. It'll plug in right there. We have our power, plugs in right below it. Then we have our USB plugs in right there, and this will go to our computer. And this thing is all ready to start engraving and cutting. Okay, we now have this laser all set up in light burn. I'm just going to do a little quick engraving We'll frame it out to make sure it all fits good on here. Now with this, I do have air control, uh, air power, depending on the intensity I want. Now, since I'm just doing an engraving, I'm not gonna have a lot of air going through there. I am just having enough just to blow it out of the way a little bit. Now, if I was doing some cutting, I'd have this maxed out. But this is doing a little engraving, let's just turn the air on a little bit and see how she does. issues with engraving but we pretty much already knew that you're talking 20 watts of power right here this alpha had no issues with that let's really give it a test so what I have here is some 10 millimeter thick plywood now this right here really tests out how well this machine can cut through some thick wood Now, as you see, no issues. Cut it out clean. How about an even harder test? 10 millimeter thick acrylic. Now, on this acrylic, I needed to probably do one more pass or slow it down a little bit. It did cut all the way through, just not fully through it. That's all on me there, not the laser. But as you see, it cut the edge is just fine. I just needed to do one more pass on this, and it would have cut it out. And I could probably sit here and push this the rest of the way through because I guarantee there's not much left on cutting that. But that is 10 millimeter thick acrylic on a 20 watt diode laser. That right there shows you what type of power we are dealing with. Now, just for the fun of it, 
I got some thinner black acrylic on here. Let's cut it out and do some engraving on it as well. get it cut out got it engraved now part of this is on my fault I wasn't paying attention and I actually told it to start cutting again so along with the engraving it after I moved it so it went on and started cutting out of place but overall engraving and cut now this like this is just eighth inch thick acrylic and just playing around with my logo on there came out pretty good looking now, overall, setting up this laser was extremely easy. Yeah, there's a handful of bolts, and it did take a minute for me to figure out the tension on here, mainly because I realized I forgot to put two tension screws back here at the back, but that's all on me there for not reading the instructions. Now, overall, on this Alpha laser, it is a great little machine. Like I said, I just wanted to set it up to see how well it works. I like adding more lasers to my collection because, heck, it's what I do. Especially right now, it's a big hobby I'm into. So every time I chance, get a chance to test out a new laser or put one together to see how well it works to compare against others, I'm all about. What I like about this, a lot of this is the wires are already all ran for you. It would be nice if it was all together, but at the same time, they got work, they got to think about packaging and shipping on themselves. So there's a few little bolts to put together here and there. It took a whole 10 minutes to put this thing together, if that. And if it wasn't for the fact I was recording, I probably could have put it together in about 5 minutes. Now with this Algo Laser Alpha, the 22 watts of power is just beastly for its category. I mean, the improved motherboard and firmware on this makes the speed of this just unbelievable. You watch what it did to that uh, 10 millimeter acrylic. It cut it like it was nothing. It would have fully cut through if I was did one more pass on there. Or even just probably slowed it down just a hair. But that's on me trying to learn this machine. I got another video coming up here in about three weeks. I'll be doing some crazy acrylic work with on it. But you got to make sure to subscribe for that. Now, if you're wanting to get one of these, I do have a link down in the description. And if you're one of the early ones to click on it, I have some specials going with it as well. But, you got to be one of the first to pick it up. Because this is brand new to the market right now. Like I said, new company, new laser, extremely powerful. You know you want one. Until next time, y'all watch these videos up here and take it easy.